everyone, welcome back to the B-Movie Bunker. Today we're looking at Manborg, brought to us uh, from 2011, brought to us by Stephen Kostansky. This is such a fun movie. We have the story of a young soldier uh, who dies while fight facing off against Count Dracula and his forces from hell. And he comes back, uh, is brought back to life in the future as Manborg, a half-man, kind of half-robot, basically a cyborg. But he is not cyborg, he is Manborg. Uh, and he is there to, you know, get revenge on Count Dracula. This movie was so much fun. So, first of all, you got, I think, a pretty good, pretty uh, darn good cast for, for a low-budget flick. I mean, you've got Matthew Kennedy as Manborg. Um, I think he does a great job kind of portraying the whole, you know, kind of emotionless, you know, robotic uh, Manborg. Um, you've got some of his allies. You have uh, Connor and Meredith Sweeney playing brother and sister uh, Justice and uh, Mina. Um, two of Manborg's allies, along with Ludwig Lee, who plays the uh, the number one man, the the horribly dubbed by I believe Kyle Herbert, uh, Asian, uh, you know, kind of you know fighting, you know, kung fu style guy. So much fun. Um, one of my favorite characters in this it has to be uh, the Baron, done by Jeremy Gillespie. <laughs> Such a great character and so well done. Um, Every scene he is in, I, I, I'm cracking up. And then Adam Brooks as Dr. Scorpius and as Count Dracula. Um, I think they just did a great job in, in delivering what is really kind of corny and, and cheesy dialogue, as it's meant to be. This is this movie is like an homage, like those uh, late 70s, you know, early 80s kind of sci-fi flicks, you know, the, the kind of Roger Corman's Ray Harryhausen type things. And that's really, like... The, the special effects in this are so much fun. It's so reminiscent of some of the older stuff. Um, I mean, really, what we have, it's, it's, it's this, you know, this kind of stop-motion eye orgy is what you got. And it's just your eyes, you're just going, wah! So much of it is so so much fun. I mean, yeah, the story is, oh, it's, you know, fighting the forces of hell, blah, blah, blah. That's not the point. The, the, the point is, is that this movie was made to be fun and to be enjoyed. And, and if you don't enjoy this movie, I, I feel sorry for you if you can't watch a movie like this and at least get some enjoyment out of it. I really feel sorry for you. This is camp the way camp should be done. This is cheese to, 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 the, you know, to the highest degree. This is the cheese that you, know, you seek out. This is the type of stuff that if you love B-movies, if you truly love B-movies, this is the type of stuff you want to be seeing. And this is the type of stuff you want to be made. It's just so much fun. And, and the fight scenes are actually really well choreographed. I mean, they're corny and they're over the top, but I loved some of the effects they do for some of the fight scenes. And it's just this whole vibe, you know, it's got this whole 80s feel to it that I think fits so well with a movie like this. I, I cannot highly recommend this movie enough. On a scale of 1 to 10, wow, this is like... So it's... You got Rankin and Bass, you know, who are out, you know, they haven't done much in years, but Rankin and Bass are out, and they get pretty drunk. And here comes, you know, Scud the Disposable Assassin and Mortal Kombat kind of coming, and they do, you know, they kind of do a three-way with Rankin and Bass, or would that be a four-way? Either way, nine months later, Rankin and Bass gives birth to this kind of, you know, demented Ray Harryhausen that, you know creates Manborg. That's, I mean, that's what this, it's like all that stuff. It's like Scud and and uh, Mortal Kombat and Ray Harryhausen kind of blended up together with a little Rankin and Bass for, you know, a little extra weirdness because, trust me, those guys were on some drugs when they came up with Heat Miser. And that's what you got. You got this just this ultimate visual feast that is such fun. Check it out. Go see it. Support independently made cinema. Watch this. Spread the word and watch through the credits to, to see there's a, a nice little special uh, bit for you after the credits that you have to watch. I'm not going to say anything more than that, but other than you have to watch. It's like you're at, it's think imagine you're in a Marvel film where you have you got to stay through the end, got to see the credits. So that's all I got for this one. Until next time, stay safe out in the wasteland. Manborg says so, and the human spirit will never be obsolete. That's what you have looked forward to. That kind of great stuff. It's so much fun. So much fun. It's how movies should be. Fun.